Welcome, everyone. Today, we're talking real estate and that big, scary lawsuit that's out there that everyone's been hearing so much about. The National Association of Realtors has agreed to a settlement, uh, still has to pass through the courts, but man, it's going to have big ripple effects in the real estate industry. So everyone's trying to make sense out of this. Uh, we brought in a real estate expert today, Melissa Shaw, from Lewis Realty to give us some high level explanation on what this really means. So Melissa, when we're talking about this lawsuit, um, talk to us about the way things were structured and the way they may be structured differently if this really does go through. Well, the way things were structured was as a listing agent, um, there was a cooperating broker compensation, meaning you knew what the price was for compensation that was agreed upon and a portion of that price was paid to the buyer's agent for bringing to you. For bringing um, the yes, the proposed changes state that no longer can that cooperating broker compensation be in the multiple listing service. So in other words, those buyer agents might bring a buyer to a home, but they can't see anywhere what their compensation will be for bringing that buyer and doing all the work, correct? Correct. They can reach out and the discussion can be had, but it's not, it's just not going to be listed like it previously was. And I assume that there was kind of an industry standard for what a listing agent was compensated and what a buying agent was compensated. But it sounds to me like those industry standards are gone, would be gone now. And it really is going to be different deals for every single transaction. It could be, it could be. I, I really can't comment on um, compensations just because of fixed pricing uh, mm -hmm. laws, um, but it could be, you know, we could actually see pricing and compensation go up. We may see it go down a little bit, but really we're learning of the headlines the same time everybody else is. And so, um, you know, more will evolve. Um, in the coming months and we'll all know more and I'll be able to intelligently articulate more. Right. Yeah. Everything's kind of up in the air now. That's what we're hearing in the media. Right. And that's why we're trying to speak to as many experts as possible to get right. little snippets of information along the line. So I, let's put ourselves in the viewer's shoes right now. If they sure. are trying to list a house or they're thinking about listing a house, mm -hmm. what are a few things they should be considering if all of this goes into effect? Well, I... I recommend keep keep the status quo. You know, okay. you're going to want to solicit the highest amount of people to be looking at homes. And the number one single way to do that is advertise in the MLS and offer some type of co cooperating broker compensation. Um, I'm not going to recommend my, my clients steer any other direction at this point until there's something, some evidence to to indicate otherwise. Okay, and then now let's go to the buyer side. If sure. I'm going to be looking for a home, um, what are some of the things I, I need to consider? Because I think I, what I perceive as being one of the biggest problems is that there may be buyers mm -hmm. out there who say now, well, I'm just not gonna pay mm -hmm. an agent, a buyer's agent. I'm just gonna go try to do this myself. And, and, and I know that there are horror stories out there, right? About what can go wrong. Absolutely. You know, that's definitely a viable option for anybody. It would not be my recommendation. Um, I'm working with a client actually right now, a buyer right now, where they were where they were thinking not to even do a sewer scope. And I strongly always encourage those inspections. And I'm so thankful that they did because we did get a failed sewer line with rocks in it. And there's a lot of steps that had to happen to really determine the right course of action. Um, to resolve this issue right. so it something as simple as that 150 bucks for a sewer scope um can save them thousands and that's just one example there's very a lot of other examples like that um that saves thousands for my clients yeah. And, and, and I've heard all those horror stories so <laughs> that they are out there. Lastly, yeah. let's talk about, about prices, about home prices. So sure. um, one of the other things out there that's being floated is that if this all does in fact go through, this will bring housing prices down. Is that, is that a foregone conclusion in your opinion? Yeah, that's all speculation. I don't see that happening, um, especially, you know, if we have rates drop 
Um, now, how our housing market is very solid. Um, buyers might come in and say, yeah, drop the price um, and save on your commission, but that's not really a viable, sustainable solution either. It opens up another can of worms um, for increased lawsuits and liability for both sides of the transaction. Yeah, sounds like it. And again, if this does go through, we might see these changes, what, come midsummer? Well, um, it should be decided on in July as of right now. That obviously could change, but as of right now, if it is accepted, um, it would be sometime in July. Okay. Well, guess what? We'll have you back on in July. <laughs> I'd love that. <laughs> yes. We're, well, you know, this is a continuing conversation because it affects so many people in our local market. And uh, and we don't want to we don't want to guess at this. We want to really understand what's going on. So thank you right. for, for lending your expertise today, Melissa. We'll have you back on in July. We'll see you then. Look forward to it. Thanks, Kelly.